Japan by Quest. Culture. Respect is the most basic culture of Japanese. Respect for age is the key element for families which mean that the younger should obedience to older and different them. It is not only the most important moral character on how they treat their family members, but also crucial at the business world. At work, Japanese are respect each other by showing their loyalty and trustworthy. Gift they express feelings of friendship and may symbolize hopes for good future business. The conclusion of a successful endeavor. Comparing Japanese culture with American culture. Japanese believe that if someone helped you, you should reward them materially instead of simply say thank you. There are two types of gifts. Personal gift and corporate gift. For personal gift. That person should give the gift when nobody is around. And for the corporate gift usually given the first time you visit a company. Japanese business culture is still dominated by the concept of lifetime employment. The young man, entering a large immediately after graduating from university at age 22, anticipates that he will retire from that same company when he reaches age 65. Also, Japanese are trained time matter since they were kids. Beyond time is the basic element to show respect to others, and it is also the traditional rule they had. Unlike the American, in Japan, after work, Co-workers are most entertaining for business is done in restaurants or bars after business hours. It is also a traditional way to communicate in business. Business Occasions Appearance Casual Shorts Sandals Jogging Shoes Sports Gear As well as Bright Colors Tartan and all loud patterns. In Japan, anything but a dark formal suit is considered casual. Uniforms. In Japan, many companies adopt uniforms. Especially in white collar jobs, it is more common to see women in uniforms and men in dark colored suits. Cool beef. Coolbees is a campaign in which employees wear a casual dress in the summertime. Because of concerns for global warming, not wearing a tight and suit jacket would allow for employees to stay cooler and at the same time save energy. Special Occasions Appearance Wedding Party Men Dark colored suits with a tight but avoid a black type, it is reserved for funerals. Women. Formal clothing. Typically dresses but avoid white it overlaps with the bride's dress color. Funeral. Men. Black suits, white shirts, black ties, and black shoes. Avoid glossy black color. Women, black suits, or dress, black stocking, and black shoes. No luxurious jewelry except a pearl necklace. Etiquette. Bow. In Japan, bow and manner is really important. In Japan, People usually do not shake hands like America, but instead they bow each other. Bow has many functions in one such as feeling of respect, thinking, apologizing, greeting, and so on. The informal bow is bending of about 15 degrees for a casual greeting. 
the most common type of bow is done to a 30 degree angle to greet customers or to thank someone. More formal type of bow can be done in a 45 degree angle looking down at your feet. You can see this kind of bow in deep gratitude, the respectful greeting, the formal apology, asking for favors, and so on. While foreigners are expected to shake hands, the traditional form of greeting is the bow. How far you bow depends upon your relationship to the other person as well as the situation. The deeper you bow, the more respect you show. The foreign visitor gaijin may bow the head slightly, since no one expects foreigners to generally understand the subtle nuances of bowing. There is some etiquette for meeting with Japanese when sitting down to a business meeting, it is important that a guest does not sit down if they please. They should wait until they are appropriately seated. The highest ranking member will be expected to take a seat at the head of the table. It is important to know that most senior Japanese persons will be seated furthest from the door with the rest of the people in descending rank until the most junior person is seated closest to the door. Throughout the business meeting, it is mandatory to behave in the accepted manner. For example, pointing or using large hand gestures should be avoided as it is not usual for Japanese people to gesticulate as they talk and so it may be considered a distraction. In addition, blowing your nose in public is perceived as being disruptive and unhygienic. As a participant, it is also important to look interested for the duration of the business meeting. Consequently, taking notes is highly appreciated by the hosts. It is an essential part of Japanese business etiquette to exchange business cards. In Japan, business cards are called maishi. They are considered not only as serious tools for establishing business contacts, but also as identification of individual and the company he or she presents. It is in one's best interest to offer their business cards with both hands as this denotes greater respect. Foreigners on business in Japan are advised to carry an ample supply of business cards. It is only when the Maichi exchange process is complete that business can commerce. It is important to make appointments, whenever possible, should be made several weeks in advance. It is also very important to arrive on time for meeting. Also, just like America, it is best to telephone for an appointment rather than send a letter, fax or email. Appointments are important in America, but Japanese looks this respect more. Thank you.